We begin the show today talking about the service manager challenge. So we have a challenge where I'm giving away my Jeep pickup truck. I bought one of those fancy Jeep gladiators. I'm tricking it out. It's all jacked up, wrapped. Um, I still need to put a gun rack in it. It's coming. But basically anybody in our on-demand system or in our coaching program, it's a competition of you versus you. So anybody can win. It's if you take our strategies, increase your net to gross in your department, your effective labor rate and your customer satisfaction, basically. It's a little different for truck um, franchises and independents, but they have different categories, but it's the same basic idea. And then you kind of, you know, tell us your journey. But the thing I was wondering is what's better to be the manager that wins the service manager challenge or be the coach mm. that has the manager that wins the challenge. Yeah. It's interesting. You being a coach, you're supposed to say being a coach, but you didn't say that. No, nah, I mean, I don't know. There's a, it'd be pretty cool to be the manager to win. Do it. you have any managers that you're coaching that you feel like could win it? Absolutely. And I've told them. How many do you think you have? That, uh, I honest, think that like, are front runners. They can win it. That can win it. Oh, you've seen the winners before. Oh yeah, I mean, uh, probably I, there's a dozen or so that could win it. Um, that three you're or coaching. four that, yeah, absolutely, hundred percent. But they won't. I don't know. We'll see. There's a couple that I don't think will that could. Why won't they if they could? Um. One, they don't believe it themselves, so mindset. So it's their self-image? Yeah. Their self-image of themselves is, oh, I could never win. Yeah. Yeah, it's too, too many things stacked against them. You My know. market. Yeah, just not that. Uh, Meanwhile, everybody who's won it was in, like, a smaller market, right? I think. Yeah. I'm trying to think, but close, right? Yeah. Okay, so the self-image, their vision of themselves, and yeah. then what else? Why else wouldn't they win it? So confidence, mindset, um, execution. They like, just don't execute? Yeah. Because they're too busy doing everything that doesn't make them money? Yeah. Yeah. Scatterbrained? 100%. So you think that's bad parenting? Bad, bad parenting? No. <laughs> just throwing it out there. <laughs> that's my question. Service manager challenge. Would it be better to win the challenge or be the coach? Because I, I, we have a prize internally for the coach. A Jeep? No. You haven't told us that it's part. Not a Jeep. Oh. But it's monetary, and also it's just the pride of doing it. Right? Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> yeah. It's funny. Um, I was thinking about this a lot lately because, like, I have so many things that I need to get done, and I have nobody that I can hand it to to get it done. Like, there, there, it's, it's just, it's so frustrating. Like I hand, I'm literally now I'm keeping a list in Trello. So do you use Trello? Yeah. Do you use our Trello? Yep. Um, is it our Trello or you have your own Trello? No, no, it's, it's you're in, you're in ours. Do you have your own personal page that nobody no. else can see? Hmm. So I created a personal page that nobody else can see. And I created a list of stuff I've had to ask about more than three times. How long do you think that list is? <laughs> so think about this. I hand somebody something and I say, I need this done. I even assign it to them in Trello. Mm -hmm. And then a week later, guess what I have to do? Assign it to them again. No, go back and go, hey, what's going on with that? Oh, like, yeah. Right? Yeah. So I would pay a personal assistant $100,000 a year if a they would just do the stuff that I need them to do. $100,000 a year for I'm a personal you, assistant? I think it would be worth it. I would pay $100,000 if I could get somebody in this office that when I gave them something, they did it. I don't know, bro. I think LA here is lined uh, the streets with tents full of people that do that job for $25,000 a year. Like homeless people? Yeah. Somebody. I anyway, so I don't think it pays hundred grand a year. Just think about if I, so like, okay, let me, give you, let me give you some examples of what I'm talking about. So what if the service advisor competition software, 
some people listening to this are gonna have no idea what I'm talking about. So to give you context, we have software that benchmarks advisors and service managers against each other and we give away, I don't know, like $8,000 worth of prizes every month. And mm -hmm. we probably could do away with the money. It's the bulldog that they get, yeah. a bobblehead bulldog yeah. that means the most. But if that software integrated with social media and integrated with our on-demand platform, and so they got, the badges were posted on social media and in their profile on our on-demand, how much more would that be, how much more would that add to the interactivity between the advisors? A lot, for sure. Okay, no nobody, question. that, nobody could figure, figure that out. Figure that out. Okay, what about this? So when when people join coaching, mm -hmm. we send out a series of things to them, yep. right? Yep. So have you seen how it comes? Yeah. So first they get their workbook for Service Manager University. They mm -hmm. get that in the mail. Mm -hmm. It's in a regular cardboard box. Not an orange box, not a printed box. It's not cool whatsoever. And so I want that to be like a cool orange box with a logo and in a sleeve. Like I want there to be some sort of presentation when they get it. Like, hey, this is a big deal. You're a part of our family. Yeah. Like that attention to detail I think matters. It shouldn't just be in a cardboard box, right? Yeah. And then a little bit later we send them, I want to send them swag from SDR. I want them to get a t-shirt, a mug, all that. Same thing. Yeah. Cool box, right? Yeah. Everything yeah. should look like it shouldn't be a mug thrown in a box with then a t-shirt holding it together from rattling around. Like that's what we're doing now. Like, shouldn't there be like a place with a mug? Yeah. Like it isn't hard to do that stuff nowadays. Right. It just takes a little bit of time. Right. Yeah. And then they get the gamification box and oddly the gamification box, because we sell those when people buy gamification as a separate product, those look pretty cool that yeah, box does yeah, but none does. of the other stuff matches it's been two months nothing i'm like i want options nothing so if i paid somebody a hundred grand do you think i could get that yeah i still don't think you have to pay him a hundred grand though but yeah i'm sure you could get it thank you so much for watching this clip of service drive revolution now you can catch the full episode on youtube itunes or spotify or wherever you consume your podcast. If you have any questions, go ahead and post them in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you're notified when we post new episodes. I'm Chris Collins and you can find me on Facebook and Instagram at Chris Bulldog Collins. And I'll see you again on the next episode.